In many ways, planet Earth is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Though humanity has existed on this planet for millions of years, it has barely uncovered a small part of it. Yet even if those discoveries have been limited, they have unleashed human curiosity and its thirst for mystery. Join us as we map the most mysterious places scientists are still struggling to explain. Number one, the Spotted Lake. The Spotted Lake can be found in the grasslands of British Columbia's Okanagan Nation, and we must warn you, it looks like nothing out of the ordinary. But check it out in the heat of summer, and it becomes a freak of nature. It displays a bit of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's tendency in the summer heat. As its water begins to evaporate under the heat of the summer sun, this lake transforms into many tiny, colorful pools, and not different shades of blue or aqua, but rich, vibrant tones of yellow, blues, and greens. So why would a lake take on rainbow colors on its own? Apparently, the high concentration of different minerals in each pond is the actual culprit. But the First Nations people have a slightly different theory about it. They believe that each of the different circles holds different healing properties. Number two, Richat structure. From an abundance of water, we travel to a place completely lacking in it. This is the Eye of the Sahara, also called the Richat structure. It is a 30 mile wide circular feature that looks like a bullseye in the middle of the desert but only from space. These strange concentric rings of rock layers are 25 miles in diameter, exposing sedimentary rock in layers that appear as concentric rings. Some scientists call it a geological phenomenon, but that doesn't explain the presence of Aculean archaeological artifacts within the rings. There's another highly fanciful theory that claims it is the site of Atlantis mentioned in the works of Plato since its shape matches his description of the city. Some claim it's just the site of a meteorite hit, but none of the claims have been proven yet. Number three, the race tracks. Ever wondered if rocks could move? These apparently do. The racetrack is a dry lake bed renowned for its strange moving rocks. There are tracks visible for miles, starting out from these rocks as if they've been pushed by an unknown source. It's a pretty hard place to get to since it's located in a valley between the Cottonwood and Last Chance mountain ranges in Death Valley National Park. But once you get there, the wonderment of the experience helps shed exhaustion. Number four, plain of jars, but these moving rocks are overshadowed by this site. A trip to a plateau in the Xiankuang province of central Laos would be a rare treat with its more than 2,000 large ancient stone jars spread across its surface. Archaeologists put their age at 2,000 years old, with each standing 10 feet tall and weighing several tons. Their purpose is a tantalizing mystery, but one macabre theory floating around suggests they were funeral crypts. Number five, Rainbow Beach. The Papakalia Beach on the Big Island of Hawaii is the only one of its kind. It's also known as the Green Sand Beach for a reason that probably has something to do with its green sand. The beach was formed out of the side of a volcano. Its sand tinged a perfect shade of green due to olivine crystals left behind by lava. Who needs to go to another planet for diversity? Number six, Nazca Lines. Impressed by nature, humanity's ancestors did nothing by half either. The Nazca people of Peru carved hundreds of giant designs of humans, animals, and plants into their environment, except their canvases were the desert plains, more than 2,000 years ago. They have been the focus of the fascination of scientists for more than eight decades, but they haven't been able to unravel the mystery behind their existence. Number seven, Moaraki boulders. The Nazca were not the only ones leaving their noticeable traces behind. The Kukohe Beach near Moraki is home to perfectly spherical Moraki boulders. The Moraki boulders are surprisingly large spherical boulders found lying along a stretch of Kukohe Beach on the wave-cut Otago coast of New Zealand between Moraki and Hampton. They are found either in clusters gathered together in a secluded part of the beach or scattered along the shoreline. They come in various shades of grey since they have been exhumed from mudstone and bedrock around them. According to carbon dating, these formed about 65 million years ago somehow. Though the reason for their existence is not known, the Maoris believe they are gourds washed ashore from the shipwreck of the canoe that brought their ancestors to New Zealand. Number 8. Michigan Triangle. UFOs, shipwrecks, and the Bermuda Triangle are the soul of mystery, 
and Lake Michigan is right in line with them. The breathtakingly beautiful lake enjoys a somewhat questionable reputation due to its rich history of sunken ships, plane crashes and disappearances of vessels with their entire crews as if vanishing into thin air. The purported culprit is an area in Lake Michigan created by drawing lines connecting Benton Harbor in Michigan, Manitowoc in Wisconsin, and Ludington in Michigan, which makes a perfect triangle, earning it the dubious title of another Bermuda Triangle. Number 9. Marfa Lights Marfa in West Texas has been the focus of all sorts of bizarre theories orbiting around ghosts, UFOs, and even fairies. The cause of the Führer? The sight of bright, colorful orbs pulsating or darting through the dark and wide Texas skies has given wings to human imagination for more than a hundred years now. Even James Dean confirmed that he saw them while filming the movie Giant. While fascinating, no one knows why they appear out of nowhere and disappear into the sky. Number 10. Magnetic Hill there's a spot on Earth where cars, buses, and all manner of vehicles roll up the hill instead of down in seeming defiance of gravity. That's the mystery of the Magnetic Hill, which is a gravity hill located near the Leh district of Ladakh, India. The layout of the area and surrounding slopes create the optical illusion of a hill when it is actually a downhill road. It has become a playful and attractive spot for tourists and people from all walks of life who own a car. While common sense claims that it's all due to an optical illusion created by the surrounding landscape sloping downhill, the locals claim this hill leads people to heaven. Number 11. Loch Ness Loch Ness is a large and deep loch or lake in the Scottish Highlands featuring crisp fresh water, but that's not what it's famous for. Local folklore has long sung praises of Nessie or the Loch Ness Monster, a huge, serpent-like creature. People have sworn by sightings of the mythical creature for decades now, with some videos also being shared online, but no conclusive proof has ever been seen. But that hasn't stopped Loch Ness from becoming a popular tourist destination. Number 12. Lake Natron Lake Natron in Tanzania doesn't need a monster to make it deadly, it's the monster itself. It is also known as the petrifying lake because it has the power to turn birds into stone. That's a super bizarre capability, but science has been able to explain this phenomenon, even though partly. The water temperature can reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit and its pH level is 10.5, as is ammonia. The caustic water can burn the skin and eyes of animals, whereas its high levels of sodium carbonate can mummify birds, bats, and other animals that die in its waters. Number 13, Lake Maracaibo. Up next is Lake Maracaibo, which has been blessed by the lightning gods displaying majestic shows of natural fireworks unlike any other. Situated in a bay off the Caribbean Sea in northwestern Venezuela, the lake gets about 28 lightning strikes for up to nine hours. This is most likely due to a weather phenomenon known as Catatumbo lightning, which is caused by a unique combination of heat, humidity, air currents, and the mountainous landscape. Number 14. Lake Hillier Talking of lakes, Australia's Lake Hillier is the most unique yet puzzling sight to grace the Earth. Its bubblegum pink waters make it a unique lake without comparison. Its position next to the Indian Ocean makes its unexpected color really pop in comparison to the ocean's clear blues. Though it has plenty of fish and aquatic life, tourists aren't allowed in the water. Scientists believe its coloring is likely caused by algae, bacteria, or chemical reactions, but there is no definitive proof of that. Number 15. Lake Abraham Lake Abraham is a popular destination for people during summer, but that's not the only thing it's famous for. Situated in Alberta, Canada, during the freezing months of winter, snowball-shaped white orbs form under its frozen surface, which has fueled the public's interest in it. Fascinating they might be, but these orbs are pockets of flammable methane gas, which are formed when organic matter at the bottom of the lake decomposes, which makes them dangerous. Number 16. Kawaijin Lake and Volcano Ever seen flames shooting 16 feet into the sky from the ground? That's what people find so riveting about Kawa Ijen Lake and Volcano. The sight is both terrifying and breathtaking at the same time with the fiery display of a rare, natural phenomenon. 
the area is a hotbed of pockets full of sulfuric gases, which combust as they hit fresh air after bursting through the lake's rocky surface. The red flames seem to light the mountain on fire as molten sulfur cascades down its sides in a display of electric blue streams in the ultimate fire show. Number 17. Island of the Dolls This is not a scene from a horror movie. Isla de las Muñecas, Spanish for Island of the Dolls, is an island located in the canals of the Xochimilco in Mexico City. As one can imagine from its very name, the island is famous for the thousands of dolls of various styles, colors, and states displayed all over its area. As legend has it, the island's former reclusive owner, Don Julian Santana Barrera, mourned the passing of a young girl who had drowned there. Ever since that event, the locals have made doll offerings to the spirit of the young girl, all the while fearing her yet praying to her at the same time, believing she still haunts the island. Interestingly, Don Julian also passed away right at the spot where the girl had drowned, giving birth to the urban legend. Whether the island is haunted or not, it is definitely a favorite spot for dark tourists. Number 18. The Great Pyramid of Giza All the scientific development of this century hasn't been able to explain how the Giza Pyramid was built. The giant wonders are baffling reminders of human ingenuity and have captivated mankind's interest for thousands of years. The ancient mausoleum has been keeping watch over humanity while it is the only remaining of the seven wonders of the world which has stood the test of time and remains one of the most visited tourist attractions on Earth. It is still a wonder how the 455-foot-tall pyramid was created without the aid of modern-day technology. Several theories have been put forth to explain the how, from alien gods to using a sophisticated pulley system, but none of them are able to satisfy all the questions. Number 19. Giant's Causeway Giant's Causeway has caused a lot of controversy and given birth to many tales. This natural wonder is located on the coast of Northern Ireland. The 40,000 polygonal black basalt columns that were probably created by volcanic activity have become a thing of legend. As the name signifies, the story goes that the pavement-like formation was made when a giant named Finn McCool threw chunks of the coast into the sea to create a stepping stone path to Scotland. Imagine a giant plodding over this stone shortcut to a neighbor's house. The stone path disappearing under the rising tide makes for a breathtaking scene. Number 20. Fairy Circles The African country of Namibia is famous for its native art, but the millions of ovals of soil surrounded by green grass present a novel scene. These circular patches number in the millions, dotting the landscape since recorded history. They are aptly called fairy circles because the ethereal circles look like they've been shaped by the wings of fairies. Ranging in size from about 12 feet to 114 feet, they are a novelty beyond compare. There are varied theories related to their origin from sand termites to desert plants competing for scarce water, but looking at them, you can't stop imagining fanciful explanations. Number 21. Eternal Flame Falls Like a scene straight from The Lord of the Rings, an uncanny orange-red light glows through the waterfall near Shale Creek in New York's Chestnut Ridge Park. Though it looks like the recreation of a fantasy story, it has a pretty tame scientific explanation. This torch is fueled by natural methane gas escaping through cracks in the rock at the back of the waterfall. Come summer, winter, spring or fall, the torch keeps blazing without winking out. Or does it? It seems the eternal part of the flame is a misnomer, since the flame does go out due to water falling on it, but visitors reignite it with their trusty lighters. Number 22. Easter Island This island boasts 1,000 giant stone statues called Moai, laid out by the Rapa Nui civilization 900 years ago. This island is a designated special territory of Chile in the southeastern Pacific Ocean, at the southeasternmost point of the Polynesian Triangle in Oceania. The giants tower over the landscape at an average of 13 feet tall and weigh 14 tons and were reported by European explorers who landed on the island in 1722. The reasons for why they were carved are a mystery, except for speculation that they served as markers for fresh water. Number 23. 
Dot her to hell. This intimidating, fiery crater opened up like a bad omen almost 50 years ago in the desert of northern Turkmenistan. Called the Darvaza Crater, or Door to Hell, this open-mouthed cauldron of glowing rock and ash has scared, yet beguiled its viewers with its eerie glow visible from miles away. Its creation is rumored to be the result of a gas drilling mistake made by Russian engineers who set the area on fire to stop the spread of dangerous gases. They could not have known that it would continue to burn for decades to come, and it's showing no signs of fizzling out. Number 24. Devil's Tower these mind-blowing mountain-like geometric columns are jutting out of the rolling Black Hills region in Wyoming. This site is sacred to a number of Native American tribes and was declared the first national monument in the country in 1906. Though it looks like a peculiarly shaped mountain rising out of the ground and soaring into the sky, it's actually made of molten lava, which hardened into such astounding shapes. Its spiritual significance for Native American people remains, and it serves as a center for their ceremonies, while it is a favorite spot for the rock climbing and hiking crowd. Number 25, Devil's Bridge. This perfect sphere is actually a half circle constructed, so its reflection could complete the sphere. Incidentally, a number of supernaturally significant places are named Devil's Bridge, but the most famed is Rakotsbrücke, located in the town of Kromlau in Germany. Though dark arts aficionados relish the dark undercurrents of the name, the Devil's Bridge was made by common folk in the 1860s and remains one of the most artistically impressive architectural structures around. While the top forms a perfect sphere with its reflection, it is supported by tall side pillars that seem as if they were cut to resemble crystal shards. Number 26. The Crooked Forest while the last one was a man-made structure, the Crooked Forest is a gloriously natural phenomenon. It's a marvel of nature that lives up to its name by having hundreds of crookedly bent pine trees, very much like a witch's crooked fingers. These trees were planted in Poland in the 1930s and grew with an almost 90-degree bend at their base as if an unseen hand had forced them this way. While stories abound about what could have caused their crazy shape, the most plausible one seems a winter storm or prolonged exposure to the wind in a certain direction that caused the stalks to develop thus. Others believe that the forest has been designed this way with gardening techniques or skillful use of certain tools. Whatever the reason might be, the site is definitely awe-inspiring yet spooky. Number 27. Great Blue Hole The Great Blue Hole might sound like a name given by a four-year-old to his favorite toy, but what it refers to is anything but toy-like. The sheer size and deep, calming hues of this wonder of the world are incomparable. This massive yet remote marine sea hole is located off the coast of Belize. Its deep blue is indicative of its depth as compared to its surroundings, leaving it more than 1,000 feet across and 400 feet deep. The hole is circular in shape, 1,043 feet across and 407 feet deep. Its surface area sprawls over 760,500 square feet of gorgeous marine life and coral reefs. So how was this natural beauty born? It took millions of years to develop, but it's clear that it was formed during the Ice Age when the water level was down. The stalactites found in it prove that this formation occurred some 153,000, 66,000, 60,000, and 15,000 years ago, and was full of all kinds of species making it their home. Once the Ice Age passed, the ice melted, and the cove was flooded, turning into an aquatic great big hole. Number 28, Blood Falls. Imagine waterfalls of blood-tinged water flowing in a massive tide onto pristine white ice. High as five stories, the crimson-hued waterfall called the Blood Falls is composed of variating hues of reds and oranges presented in a spell-binding show of elegance. Elegance because the water doesn't flow like a thin and fluid body, rather, it oozes out of the fissures of ice, trapping it beneath. So where does the color come from? The water is extremely high in salt and iron, which flow from inside the glacier, and as soon as they meet air, they oxidize and rust. This salt water flows under the glacier from a subglacial pool, 
covered by 1,300 feet of ice, several kilometers from its tiny outlet at Blood Falls. The salt water intermittently bursts through the fissures in the solidified ice above. It was discovered in 1911 by the Australian geologist Thomas Griffith Taylor, who theorized that the red color is due to red algae, but later it was proven to be due to iron oxides. Number 29, the Bermuda Triangle. Rightly or wrongly, the Bermuda Triangle has generated a lot of fascinating focus since the 1950s when an article written by Edward Van Winkle Jones appeared in the Miami Herald. The questions asked in that article set off an almost hysterical focus on this part of the world. The triangle spans an area of about 500,000 square miles, sitting in the Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Miami, Florida. All the hysteria centers around the disappearance of more than 20 planes and 50 ships that are alleged to have either mysteriously vanished or crashed without explanation. Thus, the Bermuda Triangle, also called the Devil's Triangle, has turned into an urban legend and has generated intense scrutiny on the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. Number 30, Area 51, Nevada. The U.S. Air Force's Nevada test and training range has captured the imagination of people all over the world. It has become a favorite topic for both conspiracy theorists and Hollywood for decades. In the middle of a barren desert, designated Area 51 has been at the center of a storm of speculation. It is located in the southern portion of Nevada, 83 miles north-northwest of Las Vegas. It was acquired by the USAF and CIA in 1955, primarily for testing the Lockheed U-2 aircraft. Since then, it has spawned stories of its Cold War-era stealth aircraft kitted out with unheard-of alien-supported technology. Its top-secret nature has fanned rumors of UFOs and alien experiments within its boundaries. Since it is a central part of the unidentified flying object folklore, the surrounding area is a hot tourist destination, including the small town of Rachel on the extraterrestrial highway. There's a constant traffic of curious civilians flooding the areas around the base, but they can't go inside due to its high security status. That was a tiny glimpse into the bizarre and beautiful places on our planet. The world is a vast place with many undiscovered facets, and it unravels its secrets only to those who explore it. Join us next time on another fascinating ride. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe.